So we learned about Henry Rousseau, and we looked at this picture in our video. And you see how he has overlapping all of these plants. Well, these plants he drew while sitting in a greenhouse. And so we're going to take the sketches that you made last week, and we're going to overlap. And some of them we're going to draw larger than they are. Some of these plants are these flowers are not this big. This is actually a water lily flower. Look how large he painted it. So you can change the size of the pic of the plants when you make them in your drawing for your sketch. So I'm going to switch down to my um, drawing table and I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. So we're going to be using our large piece of white drawing paper. You're going to use it horizontal. We also call this landscape, not tall. You're going to hold it long ways. And we have our sketches from last week. These are our plants that we looked at through observation. We drew what we were looking at. And now we're going to look at these plants and we're going to use them to put it on and create a jungle. So what you're going to do, I'm going to start with this plant just because. And so I'm now going to draw this on my paper. The same drawing that I have on here, I'm now putting it on my final copy jungle. But look, am I drawing it the exact same size as I had sketched it before? No. I am making it smaller for this part, but then I might draw it again, and I might draw it even bigger and larger. So I'm looking at my idea here, my sketch, and I'm going to draw it here. I have a little flower on this plant. Okay. Now, I'm going to take that same plant because we have to fill this whole page with big and small and medium plants. So I'm now going to draw it and it's going to be coming into the page. So here is this one piece. I'm not going to draw the whole plant in this drawing part over here in the large version. I'm making it coming into the page, which kind of makes it more exciting. Like, where did it come from, right? Now, you see how I intersected this one with that one? So I'm going to erase this part because we wouldn't see that. This plant leaf is overlapping my other leaf. Okay. And then I see this one still comes in the picture. And that's that. So I'm going to look at my next plant. And I have this one. And some of these plants, even though this plant is actually this big in real life, it's teeny tiny but it kind of looks like a tree. So I'm actually going to put it here. I'm going to put some land here in my picture and I am going to have it grow coming from the land and I'm going to make it very large. This has some really, this was a succulent. It has thick leaves in it. So it kind of made it easier to draw with those thick leaves. I'm going to draw that right here on my paper and it's going to look quite tree-ish. Because just imagine if you were an ant, what, what the plants would look like, right? A little plant would look so big to you. Well, you can change the size when you're drawing it on your big paper. And who knows? No one else knows other than you what size these actual plants were. So I won't spend too much time on this because I think you guys have the idea of what you're going to do. But let me just put a couple more details on and then I'll just show you how I'm going to go for the next part. Okay. So I just drew that part of this plant and now I need to continue drawing this part. All right. So I'm going to go on with this. And I'm going to draw this part of the plant. And then from there, I will continue to add plants. And I want you to make some of them the exact size that you drew them and draw some of them bigger and smaller and medium. So you may be repeating the same four plants that you had drawn for your sketches but you're going to draw them in different sizes. So I just made this plant much bigger here. And maybe I will draw it over here and I will make a small one, which is also quite possible, right? 
It could be a seedling, so it's coming in smaller. So I'm going to put it over here. Okay, so you get the idea, and then I will look at my other plant, and I will draw this one, and maybe I will start drawing it really large over here. So it's almost like a tree again with huge leaves on it. This was the purple plant that I drew last week. You guys saw it. So now look, I have to think here. I'm going to have this little plant overlap. So I'm going to put this one behind it. Okay, you don't just slap it out, plan it out. All right, and this leaf over here is coming down. But again, it's going to go behind this plant that's in front of it. This helps show us perspective in front of and behind. Makes it look three-dimensional. All right, so I have this. And then I could draw the same plant smaller now the more plants you put you're going to overlap foreground background things are going in front of and behind that is what is going to make this look like a realistic jungle all right and then i could put this plant this plant i could make it really small it could be over here like that one right there i could draw it tiny right here and i could put it in right here and the thing about this each plant they have something interesting about their leaf like this one all the leaves come to a teeny tiny point. So I want to make sure I include those details. So if someone were to be looking at this, they would go, oh, look, I know that plant. That is a succulent. That is a jade plant. That is a spider plant. Whatever the plant type is, they would recognize it based on my drawing because I remember to put those little details. So I drew it there, small. Now I can draw it over here. I'm going to draw it really large. I'm going to go that big because I'm turning some of them into kind of like jungle trees. So I'm going to draw it larger than it was. And when I overlap areas, I sometimes have to erase so that I can show that this part is overlapping this piece of land. So I want to get rid of that. Okay. All right, so you are going to fill your paper, drawing each of your plants at least twice, once maybe big and once maybe smaller. We're going to finish this up, fill out the Google form, and I'll talk with you about what we're going to do with this jungle drawing next art. You are going to fill the page with your plant drawings. Remember to draw the plants in different sizes. Use overlapping to show perspective.